Mercedes once offered a lineup of six different convertible models. But with the market now favoring crossovers and SUVs, maintaining that many drop tops was no longer viable. In response, Mercedes streamlined its coupe and convertible offerings, merging the two-door, four-seat C-Class and E-Class models into a single new nameplate, the CLE Class. Cartomotive had the chance to test drive the 2024 Mercedes-Benz CLE Cabriolet, one of the two available body styles. Initially, Mercedes will offer the CLE Cabriolet in two versions, the four-cylinder CLE 300 and the six-cylinder CLE 450, with an AMG-powered CLE 53 Cabriolet set to follow. This new convertible enters a shrinking market, where it not only competes with the BMW 4 Series convertible, but also aims to replace two well-established models under a fresh name. Whether the CLE Cabriolet can succeed depends largely on what you're seeking in a convertible. What's new? Essentially everything. The CLE is a completely new addition to the Mercedes lineup, theoretically bringing something fresh to the four-seat convertible segment. Or does it? The CLE is designed to combine the attributes of the C-Class and E-Class Cabriolet models into one, and it somewhat achieves that goal. As shown in the dimensions comparison above, the CLE leans more towards the E-Class side of its lineage, surpassing the outgoing E-Class in overall length while being slightly shorter in wheelbase, width, and height. This makes it larger than its closest competitor, the BMW 4 Series, in every dimension except width. Those who prefer a comfortable cruiser will likely appreciate the CLE's generous size, while sports car enthusiasts might find its proportions too bulky. Mercedes describes the CLE's design as powerful and athletic. We have a different take. With its rounded contours resembling other recent Mercedes models, the CLE lacks a distinctive character and could easily be mistaken for another brand. It might sound harsh, but without the iconic three-pointed star, the CLE could just as easily be mistaken for the latest Toyota Solara. This isn't to say the CLE Cabriolet is unattractive, but a two-door convertible should captivate buyers with its curb appeal. In our view, the headlights resemble those of the entry-level CLA, while the taillights bear a strong resemblance to the GLC Coupe. A vibrant color can make the CLE stand out, but the options are limited. Beyond the usual black, white, and gray shades typical of German cars, there are only two more striking choices. Starling Blue Metallic, $750, and Manufacturer Patagonia Red Metallic, $1,750. As for the roof, you can choose from three no-cost colors, black, gray, and red. The soft top can be raised or lowered in about 20 seconds at speeds of up to 37 miles per hour, and it pairs nicely with the air cap feature a pop-up mechanism above the windshield that directs wind over the cabin. Wheel sizes range from 18 to 20 inches on the CLE 300, with the CLE 450 coming standard with 19-inch wheels. Inside, the CLE's cabin offers more elegance than its exterior suggests. The seats are comfortable and can be upholstered in various colors of MB Tex or genuine leather, with optional ventilation and massage functions available. Mercedes has even applied a special coating to the leather to keep it cooler on hot days. While some trim options feel a bit cheap, the natural grain black wood with aluminum lines adds an upscale touch to the cabin for just $200 extra. The dashboard will look familiar to anyone who has been inside the new C-Class, as the CLE's interior is almost identical from the dash forward. The centerpiece is an 11.9-inch touchscreen featuring a refined MBUX infotainment system that's both more visually appealing and easier to navigate. Like in the SL, the screen can also tilt to reduce sun glare. Performance, smooth choices. The CLE Cabriolet is available in two configurations, with a high-powered AMG model on the way. For those who aren't focused on speed, the CLE 304 Matic offers 255 horsepower and 295 lbfd of torque from a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. The CLE 450, on the other hand, is powered by a 3.0-liter turbo inline-six that delivers a robust 375 horsepower and 369 lbfd of torque. The 0 to 60 miles per hour times drop from 6.2 seconds in the CLE 300 to 4.2 seconds in the CLE 450, 
though both models have a top speed of 130 miles per hour. A 9-speed automatic transmission is standard on both models. Both models benefit from a 48-volt mild hybrid system that smooths out the stop-slash-start system. We were surprised to see that both engines achieve the same fuel economy numbers. 23 slash 32 slash 26 city slash highway slash combined MPG, according to the EPA. Driving impressions, the comfy convertible. Mercedes wanted to blend the best of the C-Class and E-Class into one vehicle, resulting in a comfortable cruiser that offers a bit of fun. We tested the CLE 450, which comes standard with sport suspension featuring adaptive dampers. Despite being the sporty option, the CLE rode comfortably, even over some of LA's rougher stretches of highway. The BMW 4 Series is firm by comparison, which could deter some shoppers. The cabin is supremely quiet with the roof up, and the air cap system works with a rear wind deflector to keep the wind from disturbing occupants when the roof is down. When we got off the highway and reached the Malibu canyons, the CLE handled competently around corners with a noticeable but controllable amount of body roll. The steering isn't particularly sharp, but it keeps the front end playful enough to have fun. We came away falling in love with Mercedes' inline-six engine. It's smooth, peppy, and reasonably fuel-efficient. There's enough power to easily pass slower traffic with little effort, and it fades into the background when cruising. A bit more noise from the exhaust would be appreciated, but that's why AMG has the CLE 53 coming. Pricing and verdict, sunlight isn't free. Sunlight may be free when you're walking, but Mercedes won't let you get more of it without paying a heavy toll. The CLE 300 Cabriolet starts at $64,350, excluding $1,150 for destination and delivery, making it roughly $8,000 more expensive than its fixed roof sibling. That price rises further to $66,950 for the pinnacle trim level, which adds augmented reality navigation, entertainment plus, guard 360 dash camera, and a head-up display. The BMW 4 Series convertible is cheaper, even with X-Drive, delivering a sportier but less luxurious experience. If you can afford a hefty $9,500 premium, the $73,850 CLE 450, with $76,850 for the Pinnacle, is significantly quicker than its four-cylinder counterpart without losing anything in fuel economy. It's also just 11 horsepower shy of the M440i X-Drive convertible, which goes for $74,250 before options and destination. Even at that price, the CLE is significantly cheaper than the Mercedes-AMG SL43, making it somewhat of a steal in the Benz lineup. It's quite refreshing to see a convertible that doesn't compromise comfort for track-ready performance that will never be utilized. There are few vehicles like this on the market, especially not at this price. If you want a superior driving experience, we prefer how the BMW 4 Series feels from behind the wheel. But if you'd rather sit back in a massage seat and soak up the sun, the CLE Cabriolet is our preferred convertible.